Good morning CEA and welcome to the next chapter of the adventure known as the Green Library Project. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to add an area plan, how to alter our floors, and how to get everything set up for this project so that there isn't any clutter or any confusion at the very start. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is get the template. You should be able to find it. It's in the same spot where it's always in and you're going to want to open that up and you should be greeted with a title block that looks kind of like this. Now this isn't exactly the library. We're going to want to first head over to the ground floor. So I'll click on that and now this is what we want to be on. And if you notice we got a lot of things here. We have our dimensions already in place that give us the overall dimensions. Those can be useful so I'm going to leave it up to you whether or not you want to keep them or not. I personally want to remove them just because I want to have at the front of my library a vestibule and I can't have it if these dimensions are in the way. Of course I'm going to remember that it is 120 feet by 72 feet but for now I'm just going to select them all and kind of clear that out of the way. We're going to reapply them at the end of the project so it's not that big of a deal. Next, I want you to remember where the doorways are. So we have a main doorway here, one over here, there, as well as these larger doors in the back. And if you remember that those doors exist, you can go ahead and delete these as well. Just trying to remove some of that clutter. Cool. Now these I-beams over here, we can remove them if we absolutely have to. But if I take a look at the 3D view, you're going to notice that those I-beams kind of lead into the supports or the foundation of this building. And they're actually helping to support the building. So I'm going to encourage that you don't remove them. And if you do have to remove them, I'd like you to make some note of it in your engineering notebooks. So if I delete two of the I-beams, make note that you deleted two of the I-beams. I'm not going to delete any of them. I'm going to leave them here. I'm going to work with them. So I'm going to work with those and now we have a much clearer view of our floor. Okay, so one of the things that's going to happen in this project is you might realize that you want more space in your building. 120 by 72 feet is going to go by pretty quickly and what I typically recommend is adding. Now, the first way we can do this is simply by clicking on a wall and dragging it to make the area larger. So I could click, drag, and let go. You'll immediately notice that I've lost part of my wall here. It's not showing up on this view. Now don't freak out, that happens. All you need to do is scroll down in your properties of this file. So actually click on some open space somewhere and then scroll down in the properties of the floor plan. You're going to look for the field called crop view right over here and you're going to turn off the check mark and if you do that then your view will return back to normal and you have that. So I've added some extra space over here. It is important to note that when we check our 3D view you're going to notice that it did add that space in but it did not carry our supporting steel structure. So we can add additional steel structure and we're going to do that in a later video but I want to just focus on adding floor to this one for now. So added floor in the traditional sense. The other route we can take to add floor is we can kind of create a walkway between two areas. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, back on the ground level, let's say instead of stretching the wall out I'm just gonna bring this back to how it was. I'm going to create like a, a pathway over here and it's going to kind of open up into a new area. So to do this, go ahead and click on the wall first. When you do that, it will highlight your modify options. And I want you to click on the split element tool. And then I want you to put a incision into the wall. So you're kind of holding a scalpel here. I'm gonna click once over here and I'm gonna go about eight feet and I'm going to click once over there. We've made a cut into our wall. I'm going to press escape twice, click on this section, and press the delete key. And now that area has been removed. We have a cut out into our wall, which
which is nice, because now we're going to draw an additional wall over here. Um, just for reference, I'm going to click on one of these walls so I know what we're working with. The great thing about this project is the walls, or at least the exterior walls, are already made. So we just need to make sure that we're using the basic wall exterior type brick and CMU on MTL stud wall, and we'll be good. So heading back to the architecture tab, I'm going to go to wall. I'm going to make sure I have that one selected, which it looks like I do. And I'm going to click or right before I click, make sure a few things. One, make sure your base constraint is on ground floor. And also make sure that you have an unconnected height of 20 feet. For some reason, sometimes this was giving me negative 20 feet and it was putting it into the, into the foundation. So if yours is at 20 feet, then you're gonna be good for this. And I'm gonna kind of click, let's say near the end, and draw out a small entrance way, let's say eight feet or so. So there's one of them, and let's draw the second one out over here. So that's our entrance way. You might have noticed that my crop view came back on, so I'm going to turn that off again. Okay. And now that we have an entrance way, what we can do is we can use that to our advantage to create a new section. So if you need an extra 20 feet, or 40 feet, or 50 feet, you can now add a section to your library to meet the needs of whatever space requirements you have. So now you could walk into here into this brand new area. If you want to keep it private, you can also have a door here, and maybe that's only for staff or something like that or you could section it off. You can have an area over here, you can have an area over here. And this is also going to add a little bit more character or difference to your building. It's not going to be just a typical blob of a building that is just one big square area. You, you want this library to attract people to appeal to the masses. So yeah, make it look interesting, make it look cool. Um, we've had some pretty neat libraries in the past. Okay. Now that we are feeling pretty good about adding extra area to this place, let's also talk about making an area plan. And I will see you for that in the next video, so take it easy.